Coloma Comets, it's Mr. Bain. Welcome back. Today our topic is overhand throw. Um, we happen to be outside with a setup, but you could also do this inside. Um, first, you need a stuffed animal. Second, you need something for the stuffed animal to sit on. It could be a chair, could be a bucket. Okay. And the goal here is to overhand throw with the ball, try to knock the stuffed animal off of the bucket or if you have a chair indoor you can do it in the basement in a garage just about anywhere you want um, for starters we're going to take we're going to go 10 steps out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten overhand throw first you're going to stand with your shoulder at the target okay those of you that are right-handed your right hand's here your left shoulder's at the target flip it around if you're left-handed you're gonna start with the ball up here. Make the letter L and make sure the ball is facing away from you, okay? Now, when you're in this setup, so it's kind of like a T setup because this finger is gonna point at the target. So you're like this. You're going to step towards the target, your non-dominant foot. You're gonna twist, you're gonna throw and follow through. Okay, so here, here's what it looks like. I'm gonna throw my first ball right at the zebra stuffed animal. Okay, I missed, so I got another one. I missed again. I got a couple other balls out here. You can use just about any type of ball, soft balls. Definitely indoors, use a softer ball. I'm gonna switch and use this one. Ooh, I hit, I hit the bucket. Almost got it. Oh, I hit the bucket again. And those of you that are want a really big challenge like fourth and fifth graders uh, you could take something like a frisbee and you could try to throw a frisbee and try to knock the stuffed animal off the bucket um, those of you that are younger start a little bit closer to the target so you could start about here okay um, that's all for today eat healthy stay safe and keep moving